with a range of views on Europe on offer at this market in Newcastle. The local MP, Chi Onwura, has come to take advice from her constituents on how she should vote. What do you think that I should be doing about leaving the European Union? Get vote as quick as you can. Yes, I appreciate that it was a vote to leave the EU, but it wasn't a vote to um, go for hard Brexit and leave the single market and kind of take it to the most possible extreme that they're trying to do. I voted to stay. You voted to stay. And, and you know, I just think it's, it'll be a disaster pulling out in the end. It's clear it's not going to be easy, perhaps impossible, for this pro-Remain MP to please everyone in a city that narrowly voted Remain within a region that strongly voted Leave. I voted that we didn't want to Brexit, we didn't want to come out, but on the other hand, the people chose it, so they should stand by the rules by what we said, what the majority wants. I think we can manage quite well leaving without having to be in the EU trade. Her leader, Jeremy Corbyn, has ordered all Labour MPs to vote in favour of triggering Article 50. So if she defies that, she risks her shadow ministerial position. I wanted to know if, after talking to people, she was any clearer on what she should do. I think I would vote to debate, so that's to the second reading. But unless we get the reassurances about the type of Brexit, about protecting the... the the incomes of my constituents as well as their rights as well as our future then I don't see how I can vote for that kind of for that kind of Brexit. The dilemma that Chi faces is being faced by many Labour MPs across the country trying to balance their own personal beliefs with the will of their constituents, the will of the people as expressed in the referendum and the will of their party leadership. Dozens of Labour members have signed this letter to Jeremy Corbyn urging him to change his stance on Brexit. Shadow Secretary for Wales Joe Stevens and Shadow Minister Tulip Sadiq have already resigned over the three-line whip position. It's not clear whether front benches will be sacked if they defy the leadership. I hope that those colleagues who feel they need to leave the front bench because they feel very strongly that they have to represent the interests of their, uh, of their voters don't feel that this is the end. I hope that Joe Stevens will be back back on the front benches in months and years ahead. She's got a very great role to play, and so have some of my other colleagues who are currently uh, considering their position. So each MP has to decide where their priorities lie and hope they can sell their decision to their constituents. Becky Johnson, Sky News, Newcastle. Stay with us on Sky News, still to come.